Welcome back to your Facebook Instagram. I feel your teacher, Mr. Malang Barabe. And now, uh, we're going to discuss the different wines and what are the so-called liquors or wine with spirits and the liquor or the wine without spirits. What is the difference between the two? So now, I'm going to introduce to you face-to-face what are those liquors and what are those liquors? So start with, as, as we have mentioned during our virtual class, that are, there are six kinds of wine that include for our liquor with spirit. The first one, here we have the so-called gin. Gin has a uh, spirit approximately by 35%. You will read that in the label here. So, meaning 35% volume of alcohol. So the whole content of the bottle, this is a 750 ml. 750 ml, so this is gin. So gin usually used for mixing cocktails. So this is one. The next one is brandy. Brandy, there is no specific brand that has a name brandy, but an example for brandy glass is we have the so-called Emperador Light or Emperador uh, Gold. We have the so-called Matador. So there are Fondador. So these are the so-called brandy. So brandies also used for base during cocktail mixing. Next, we have the so-called Sandoi Rum. Rum has two class. We have the gold and we have the white. So we have two types of rum. So one silver and gold. So if you remember, we also have type of rum, the so-called Anijo Oro. Anijo Oro is also an example of rum. Okay? This is most common. Kumbaga, this is most feeling rum in the country. It is also 750ml and if you read on the proof, it has 86% of alcohol. So take note, si Jin ilan lang? 35%. Si Tandoai has 86 volume content. While Emperador has let us see how much is Emperador content is 55%. So, mas matapang to. Light, lighter, KV. Hmm? Then, we have the so-called El Hombre Tequila. Tequila is originally made from the country of Mexico. This is made from a green plant. So, they have two kinds of tequila. We have the silver tequila and we have the gold tequila. So what we have here is the gold. Okay? The same gold tequila. It is 80 proof. So 80% with alcohol volume content. So that means this is lighter compared to rum. Kasi 86, 80%. Okay? Next. We have the so-called vodka. So vodka, if you look into class, the type of vodka is the color. They are the same. The gin is somewhat off-white and somewhat clear. Color. Right? So identify this is gin and this is vodka. This is all liquor. And of course we have whiskey. Whiskey, we have we have gold whiskey. Another absolute good guy. We also have there uh, William Lawson. William Lawson is also type of whiskey, bourbon type of whiskey. And White Castle is an example of whiskey. Okay? So these are examples of the base. So pag maghalo tayo ng mga cocktail, dapat Inuna natin paglagay sa baso or sa cocktail glass 
eyes, then unang ilalagay si base. Kahit anong drinks na isya shot mo, dapat mauna si base. Next to that glass, we have the so-called liquor. So, ito, kung may spirito, ito naman ang mga wine na walang spirito. So, meaning to say, hindi siya nakakalasing kasi wala siyang content ng alcohol. One of these example is the kalwa. A kalwa is a coffee liqueur. You see it, you read the word liqueur, meaning non-alcoholic drink. So, wala siyang content ng alcohol. This is uh, smell like a broad coffee that is used for white Russian and black Russian. So, coffee liqueur. Next, to introduce to your class is the promulgated syrup. This is so very sweet, so very uh, uh, puree, sweet grenadine. So, ito yung ginagamit natin sa paggawa ng tequila sunrise. We have Shirley Temple. So, marami. Mga non-alcoholic drinks, mga cocktail para sa mga ladies' drinks. Okay? This is very sweet. This is made from promulgated syrup. Uh, fruits. So, baga naglalapot yan. That's Grenadine. Again, Grenadine. This one is the so-called cream de menti white. Actually, cream de menti class has three. Cream de menti white, cream de menti green, and we have the men, cream de menti green. And cream de menti brown. If you're gonna mix a uh, mojito cocktail in a long drink, then it, there is no leaves available in mojito. So instead of using leaves, muddled leaves on the glass, we can use the cream de menti green. Mura na siyang menthol. Mura ang, ang lamig. Malamig sa lalamunan. Parang snow burn na candy. Somewhat like. So, walang alcohol din yan. Then, the one is the so-called orchid triple set. The triple set is a modifier. Lick your man. Lick your din siya. Walang alcohol. Ma, parang pag ipinaghalo mo ito sa tequila at sa kalagyan mo ng uh, triple sec, it lessen the content of alcohol. So kung, so kung sa isang bar, so meron siyang uh, 10% ng alcohol, pero pag nilagyan mo ng uh, triple sec, it lessen the value of alcohol. So kung konti na lang siya. Kaya nga tawag modifier, minumodify niya, binabago niya. So mula sa original na 10%, pag maglagay ka ng modifier, so gamag, maliit na lang. So hindi na masyado tantong nakakalasin. The same as coin through. Coin through is also a modif very expensive. The expensive type of modifier. So kung wala kang triple sec or wala kang coin through, pwede ito si triple sec. Kung wala naman ito, pwede ito na lang. Pero most of, most of our class mixing, we are gonna use triple sec. Not because students are, are saving, because this is more expensive. I think the worth of this is 3,000 plus. Okay? While this one is only 400 plus. So that's what that's make the difference. Then we have of course the lime juice. Lime juice is also a modifier which is common. The partner of Imperador you always see in the Sari uh, Sari store. So it becomes a partner. Uh, lime juice of course made from lemon or we can simply make uh, lemon juice. We cut a uh, thing. Uh, 20 pieces of lemon we can have lime but there are a lot of kinds of uh, lime class because in our regional available we have the Luminfito uh, then in the US we have the so-called US lemon yung malalaki na yellow okay? sa atin kasi maraming variety ng lemon may kahen iba yung medyo may maliit may makyakyak or something like that so the juice of that can be can be processed into light. Madali lang pagawa nito. Then, uh, there are some of here that 
I said this is used for making Bloody Mary, we have the Worcestershire sauce. The Worcestershire sauce. Then we have the Tabasco. Then we have the Leah Perrine. This is also a Worcestershire sauce. This is very good for drunk person to refresh yourself. Kumbaga, mas maganda to sa mga nang ha, may mga hangover. Okay? Of course, we have here the cherries we use to decorate. And of course, we have coffee. We can eat. If coffee liquor is not available, because this is also very expensive, this is 780. So, we can we can make a local coffee liquor by mixing broad coffee with an alcohol percent of zinc or vodka. So, we can make it with that. Then, um, what is not available here during our face-to-face -face demonstration for today is the garnishing. Because garnishing, we need to have fruit, okay? Including for the modifier class, we have the different kinds of milk, evaporated milk. We have coconut milk. Uh, included there is uh, full cream milk. Full creamy is used for white Russian. And the different kinds of juices. We have the grape, mango, uh, orange, pineapple. So we have the different kinds of juices available. Juices is an example of modifier where we can mix from the base, base the modifier, and of course our uh, uh, what do you call this modifier used for a cocktail. So garnishing, there is a lot of garnishing available. We have the lemon, we can slice the lemon, or we can have the celery stock, the stock for Bloody Mary and Virgin Mary. Then we can have the tomato, tomato juice, pineapple, the pineapple and mango. So we will be preparing that. So that's it for the topic for the decor. Again, for the decor of the base, then we have here the modifiers and we have here also the modifier for the types of juices that is used for during your mixing the cocktail. So, you can mix cocktail, a non-alcoholic and alcoholic. So, we have the so-called mocktail, which is non-alcoholic. Then, cocktail is a uh, alcoholic mix drink. So, that's it for today and thank you for watching. And I hope you like the video. And do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, presentation.tv for you to be updated every time and now and then that I'm going to upload a new video. Thank you bartenders and see you on the next video.